What's up everyone, it's Aparicio, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a beginner's node structure in DaVinci Resolve to keep things simple, but also be very effective when color grading. And you can use this node structure with many different projects. So with that being said, let's just get right into this. All right guys, so let's do it. I have, I've created a color space transform sandwich. Um, if you don't know how to do this, uh, I have a video on it, the top right, go watch that. Um, so first node, we're going to call it our primaries. All right. So we're going to be just adjusting the overall exposure and contrast. So I'm going to go to my waveform. I'm going to go to our gain. We're going to bring it up. I'm going to go to our lift, bring it down. And we're going to bring down our gamma a little bit. So remember shadows, midtones, highlights, just keep tweaking them. Nice solid foundation. And then next node we're going to label wb for a white balance so we're going to fine tune this until the image looks natural we're going to look in our vector scope if anything the image is sitting a little warm i'm going to bring it down use the offset and bring it down cool it off a little bit maybe add some magenta not much we need to do there all right took some green out of it it's a little too green cool okay so our next node is going to be called con slash sat. Now with the contrast and saturation, uh, this is where the image really comes to life. And you're going to see why you need the contrast and saturation in one node. Let's just adjust the contrast here. Uh, we'll do it in our primaries. So we can go ahead and push that. And I'm going to push it a little bit. I might crush some blacks as you can see here. And then I'm going to pivot in favor of the highlights so i'm going to go left cool so now what you're going to want to do is go to your custom curves and you're going to go down here and bring this up bring the bottom one up until you're not crushing any shadows and then kind of bring this down so you're trying to get as much contrast as you can without crushing anything you don't want to lose information in the shot. These are your highlights up here and these are your shadows and if you bring any of them past zero or 1023, you're losing information. So you don't want to do that. So we'll go up here to our upper midtones. We'll kind of bring it up, bring it up a little bit. All right, I'm going to come back to my contrast, bring it back a little bit. Whenever you increase the contrast, it's usually going to increase the saturation. So we're going to drop the saturation a little bit. Let's bring it to and bring mine to about 45. So let's go before and after our contrast saturation node. And you can see we added a lot of character to the shot. So we just corrected the shot three nodes. Easy. You got it. So now let's create another node and we're going to call this our uh, look. OK. All right, so let's create a little bit of a look. I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna make the shot cooler. So I'm gonna come to my offset. And I'm just gonna bring this down towards the cool tones. And then to combat this, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. I'm gonna go to my lift. Remember the lift is the shadows and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit to bring the warmth back into the shadows to make the shadows neutral. So I'm just bringing it up the opposite way. And then I'm going to bring my gamma up toward the orange because midtones gamma usually targets the midtones. So I'm just bringing her skin back a little bit. So I'm going to bring it up towards the red orange. And I got a little bit of a look going there. Let's move our offset a little more toward the blue. Okay, so let's see before and after. You see we totally cooled it off. And after look, I'm going to do my skin adjustments after look. All right. Uh, I'm going to adjust my skin tones or make sure the skin tones are where they need to be. So I'm going to go to my vector scope. So I'm going to go to my curves and I'm going to go to hue versus hue. I'm going to select the skin and I have the skin selected and we could see it on the vector scope here. You could see it moving back and forth right here. And it seems to be where it needs to be right on the skin tone indicator line. I'm going to bring it a little bit 
above it toward the magenta. All right, just a little bit above it. Just to create more uh, color separation from the blue kind of cast we have on our shot. There we go. And then I'm gonna create one more node and it's just gonna be our last adjustments. Uh, maybe you have to adjust the saturation. Maybe you have to adjust the gain a little bit, uh, the gamma, you know, the contrast. Uh, whatever you need to adjust, go ahead and adjust it here and you should be good. That's a basic, basic node structure that you can use that uh, will help you. Um, remember to label all your nodes and to read your scopes while you're grading. I have a video on that as well on my channel. Simple, well uh, executed adjustments can go a long way without overcomplicating things. So thank you for watching. If you found that helpful, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you in the next one.